I'll be at phantomriverstone.com. You can come by later. Hi everyone, Switch here, and thanks for tuning in to the first of our new series on learning Japanese through Shenmue. This series is for anyone who has an interest in learning the basics of the language. It's also for people who know a little Japanese, but would like to polish up their ability to talk about topics like avenging, warehouses, and mirrors. The focus will be on everyday conversation with, most importantly, a Shenmue theme. We're going to be making use of conversations and interactions from the Japanese Shimmu games to keep things interesting. So let's get started with our first lesson. Before we jump into conversations, we're going to look at how Japanese is written, since this ties closely to pronunciation. There are three kinds of writing in Japanese. The first kind of writing is the hiragana which are phonetic symbols where each character represents a single sound. There are 46 base characters, and they have a fairly simple, curved style. The second kind of writing is the katakana. This is an alternative syllabary that represents the same set of sounds as hiragana, and is used mainly to represent names and place names of foreign origin. The third kind of writing is the Chinese characters, or kanji. These were introduced to Japan from China over 1500 years ago. Their appearance tends to be rather complex, consisting of a number of lines or strokes. What differentiates the kanji characters from the other two kinds of writing is that they are ideographs. Each one represents a certain concept or physical thing. Let's take the word for tree, for example. In English, this is written with four characters, T-R-E-E, -E, that have no meaning by themselves. In kanji, the word for tree is a single character. Although many thousands of kanji exist, a standard set of around 2,000 of these are taught as part of the compulsory education in Japanese schools. These are known as Jōyō kanji. Japanese school children spend several years learning how to read and write the kanji, starting from the most common ones and learning more each year. Note that knowledge of Japanese kanji does not mean you'll be able to understand Chinese, but you may be able to make a guess as to the meaning of certain Chinese menu items in restaurants or street signs by picking out recognizable kanji. Unless, of course, they have been reversed and written in code. Damn it! If only we knew someone who reads Chinese! However, there are also many Chinese characters and character combinations that are not used in day-to-day -day Japanese communication. Some words even have completely different meanings between the two languages, even though the same characters are used. Modern Japanese writing normally uses a combination of all three styles of writing. その Japanese sounds can also be expressed using the Roman alphabet, which is known as Romaji. Japanese people don't usually use Romaji themselves for writing, and it's something most often seen as a convenience for foreigners. There are a few systems for transcribing Japanese sounds into Romaji, but we'll use one of the most common, called the modified Hepburn system. For people who have the time, learning to read and write using the native writing system is highly recommended, as it will give you a deeper understanding of how words are formed, and open up new avenues of exploration into Japanese literature, anime, and games.
There are five basic vowel sounds in Japanese. A, I, U, E, O. They are short vowels and should be pronounced clearly and cleanly. To help you remember the sounds, they are approximately the sounds found in each of these words. A, I, U, E, O. Long vowel sounds are written as follows. A, I, U, E, O. Almost all other sounds in Japanese are formed by a consonant combined with one of the five basic vowel sounds. For example, ka, ki, ku, ke, ko. Ba, bi, bu, be, bo. There are a few exceptions that don't follow the usual pattern. Sa, shi, su, se, so. Ta, chi, tsu, te, to. Consonants can also merge with ya, yu, and yo to make a single sound. Kya, kyu, kyo. There is also an n sound. In general, each syllable is pronounced with equal emphasis. There's no emphasis or increase in volume for certain parts of a word, as in English. For example, Tokyo, in English, is Tokyo. The R sounds. Although written in Romaji using an R, the sound is closer to a light L sound, almost approaching a D sound. La, li, lu, de, lo. In general, each syllable is pronounced evenly and does not run on to the next as you might when pronouncing an English word. In particular, when the n sound is followed by another syllable, it does not run on. For example, konnichiwa, not konnichiwa. There are some common combinations that may be shortened. De and su is often pronounced des. Certain sounds do not traditionally exist in Japanese, and so they are approximated by other sounds. For example, stay with me becomes Shimmu the movie becomes Shimmu the movie. I hope this has given you a feel for the Japanese writing system and how it's pronounced. For a foreigner learning conversational Japanese, learning how to write the characters is not essential, but it can be a fun way to deepen your understanding of the culture and extend your vocabulary. Using memory aids such as stories or spaced repetition software can help speed up the process a lot. To finish up, here are some common Japanese expressions from Shinmu that you hear a lot in daily life in Japan. As you listen to them, notice how the words are made up of combinations of consonant plus vowel sounds. Konnichiwa. 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 Yeah, Ryo-chan, いらっしゃい. はい。はい。私は大丈夫です。何かしてないとかえって気が滅いって。稲さんらしいな。でも無理はダメだよ。はい。そうですか。そうですか。
黒い車を見ませんでしたかあの日ってあの雪が降った日ええうん見てないよそうですか失礼します失礼しますなんか飲んでくいえ失礼しますあら残念ねダメダメ代わりにめぐみが猫ちゃんのママになってあげるんだでもめぐみのママがねお家で飼っちゃダメだっていうのそれでここで飼ってるのかい大丈夫。大丈夫。あの、大丈夫ですかリールジャーブ、リールジャーブ。本当に大丈夫ですか大丈夫だって。ただいま。お帰りなさい。ただいま。お帰りなさい。おかえりなさいリオさんああただいま遅いので心配しておりました大丈夫だよお疲れ様でした。